Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. If you like this, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I am going to be talking about Guerlain. I have a Guerlain haul and I wanted to show you some new products that they've just launched. I am actually going to show you something that I used to use when I was in my sort of early 20s. I never kind of purchased it again, but something called to me and made me want Want to repurchase it so I will be showing you that. I actually have a foundation on right now that I'm testing out by the K-Beauty brand Tia Tia and I have it on at the moment. It's created this gorgeous effect and I'm going to put the makeup on and I'm excited to try these products that I've got from Guerlain. I've also picked up their Terracotta Blush which has just been launched in the shade 03 Deep Nude. I got colour match to this one and I really want to give this a go so I'm excited about that. I also have one of their lip which is the Rouge Matte Lipstick and this one is in the shade number 888 Burgundy Red. As an added bonus, I just received this from Pat McGrath. It is her Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder in the Pink Powder. I just literally have my makeup on now, so what I might do is apply this first so that there's some powder under there, but I wanted to show you how it looks as a shade under my eyes. So these are the products that I wanted to talk to you about. It's the Meteorite Light Revealing Pearls of Powder. It's in the shade Amber, which is number four. There are four of these in total, and I decided to go with the darkest one because I went to the store in Covent Garden, which is their main sort of flagship store, and I felt that this one was the best one on my skin tone. Then I also picked up their Meteorites brush. Now this is a product that I used way back when I was in my 20s or 30s and I just never went back to it. It's meant to set, correct, mattify and illuminate. I just wanted to test these out and show you. The brush was something that I was so excited about because I don't actually have a Guerlain brush. I used to, I think, but it disappeared. This was the brush that is meant to work with the meteorites and when I felt the brush itself it felt so soft that I just had to get it and I believe this is going out of stock. Let's put a little bit of the Pat McGrath powder on first because I'm so excited about this because I wanted to see how this works underneath my eyes. Now, like I said, I've literally just put on this tier tier foundation on. So we're gonna put a little bit of this under the eye. So this is really exciting. I know that Huda Beauty have the cherry blossom powder, which I have, and I absolutely love. And so when I heard that Pat was bringing out the under eye blurring powder, I needed to get this in pink because I love the one that's from Huda Beauty. So this is how it looks. It's a gorgeous baby pink color, almost like baby powder. It's such a light pink, but gorgeous. So I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand for you. Feels buttery, my God, here we go. So you can see how the shade looks there. And I think some people may be scared of it because if you're darker skin like I am, how will it look? So I'm gonna show you how it looks. So I was gonna use a powder puff, um, but then I thought because it's more of a baked formula, I thought it'd be better to use a brush. I'm gonna take my Sonia G brush. This is her Detail Pro brush. And I'm just going in and you can see the shade just there. There's a mirror here, which is great. And I'm just gonna put it underneath the eye like so. And you can see that it's not very, very pink. It's not like, scary pink. It's a really lovely kind of natural finish. It doesn't look like I've got hardly anything under my eyes, but it's meant to blur underneath. I am going to take a little bit of my powder puff. The powder puff comes from the new collection with Primark. I thought I would just take a bit more of it and dab it under the eye with my powder puff. You can see it better the powder puff. It just makes it really smooth under the eyes and just gives a nice finish. And you know, it's not scary at all, can you see? Really, really nice. So 
we're gonna start off with the blush because I think this is gonna look beautiful and I'm gonna also apply it in the crease of my eyes too because I think this might be fun to give a kind of monochrome look but let's go with the cheeks first so it's a terracotta blush it's their new blush five grams of product I believe there are six shades I've gone with this shade because out of all of them this one was the one that was kind of really pretty on me terracotta blush 03 deep nude this is what it looks like it has a cover I'm going to do a quick hand swatch for you, just here. That's such a pretty shade. Number three. So there is a little bit of a scent to their products. I'll let you know if it dissipates, but this is the shade. So we're going to put it on now. I'm using my Sonia G brush. This is her Inno Cheeky Pro brush, which I do love. And we're just going to put it on. So I've just... Take it on and put it on gently just to see with a beautiful colour. Just gorgeous shade there. Just going to add a tad bit more. You can see the colour, it's really pretty. Very buildable as well. Gorgeous. So I mentioned that I was gonna use this in the crease of my eye and I think this will look really cool. So I'm gonna do that now. Just to add some dimension and give it that monochrome look. really pretty so this is their new terracotta blush in the shade deep nude in 03 so now that i've got that on what i thought i'd do is show you the lipstick that i bought this is the refill but i do have the tops that fit on it so i just wanted to show you the color that i bought i picked this up because i thought that this was such an interesting red shade i was going out that night and i wanted something with a little bit of impact so this is the shade rouge velvet number 888 burgundy red it's meant to have 16 hour high pigmentation isn't that a gorgeous gorgeous shade you can see the Guerlain that's written there at the top. So let me quickly do the hand swatch of that shade. Wow, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so let's put the lip on. Wow. What a gorgeous red. There is a slight scent to this, just so you know. It's not too strong, it's kind of powdery. So I've just gone away, I've added some brow, some liner and some mascara. I added the Lisa Eldridge one because I'm in love with these two at the moment. I've been using them a lot. <laughs> so let's take a look at this. So this is the thing that everyone has been excited about. This is the meteorites. How gorgeous is that? Packaging is just beautiful. I've been told that this is different from the previous ones because this one has a puff inside it. So when you open it, you've got a little puff which goes like this and that is what protects the pieces inside. And they're little balls, various different balls of different colors. I've got like pink, yellow, brown, light brown. So I'll show you this in a little bit more detail, but the puff protects it.
So let me show you this without it tipping, hopefully. But you can see that there are little balls and as you move the balls around, they produce different colors and these colors then highlight and shape your face with the different shades, which I really, really like the idea of. So you can see that the packaging is just beautiful. It's got Guerlain written at the bottom and these beautiful shell-like pieces going across as well as the top piece which looks like this so this is the top piece that goes on top and isn't that just gorgeous I'll open this up and we'll put this on together just before I do that, I'm gonna show you the matching brush that comes with it. This was so surprising because I wasn't expecting it to be this soft. This is synthetic. I was expecting it to be soft, but not this soft. So it's in this packaging, it comes in a plastic wrapper and this lovely gorgeous velvet pouch. She says Guerlain Paris on the bottom. Oh my God, this is like nothing I've ever seen. It's like a work of art and it's got this lovely pink part to it which I love so it goes from like white to pink it's so soft you don't even want to know how soft this is it's so so soft so I can't wait to use this it's got that same pattern that's on the meteorite so it matches and just the attention to detail and then you've got the girl and Paris written there oh how beautiful is that So I don't believe it's limited edition. That's what I've been told. So you can pick this up. It's permanent from what I believe. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't wanna do this, but I'm gonna take this product and I put it in here and we're just gonna see what comes out of the shade. So you can see the colors as I mix it. It's so satisfying to mix the shades. So we're gonna put it on and I'm just gonna do this. Oh, it's this gorgeous lavender type fragrance over it. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm just gonna put it all over. And it's given me a gorgeous warmth. And I'm putting it on my T-zone because I'm going out shortly. And I don't want this part to go too oily. It's just gorgeous, really is gorgeous. So those are the shades and that's how it looks on my face. Oh, it's just so pretty. I thought it might be fun just to see if I could do a swatch, okay, here we go, of the three shades. So I'm using the puff to just get the swatch out, but that's kind of roughly how it's looking on my skin. So that is the finished look. I just wanted to say that I am in love with this. I love Guerlain. I love the fact that I've got something that is quite nostalgic to me because it's something that I used when I was younger and I'm kind of revisiting it again and seeing how it looks against my skin and I'm so happy with the result. I think it's created a gorgeous bronzy golden glow. It's gorgeous and really complements my foundation that I have on right now as well, as well as the lipstick and the eye makeup that I've just done. It's such a gorgeous look and I'm really just happy to be ready to leave the house now and go out and run the errands that I need to do today. I just wanted to say how much I love this. I love the blush as well. I think the blush looks gorgeous. Creating that monochrome look on my eye is so lovely. I love this, it's absolutely stunning. So do go into store, try all four on. I will add a picture in this video of how I swatched it in store. It doesn't show up very well 
well as swatches. You need to go in store and actually try it on your cheeks because it's more of a highlighter effect and it doesn't really show as a swatch. So it's kind of a little bit meaningless me sharing these swatches, but I'll show you the best I could get out of the swatches. But yeah, it's gorgeous. So those are my thoughts. Please don't forget to leave your comments. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.